Alright. I got a lot going on. Ah, let's see. AirPods and this. Hey, what's going on, Jazz? All right, let's see. We want to do. Screen, whiteboard, advanced screen, sound. How's it going, Jazz? How you doing today? Hey, I'm doing good. How you doing? Oh, man. Great day. Great day. Got up earlier today, so that's good. <laughs> a little bit up yeah. after the uh, kids went to school, but... Uh, we got a good one. It's my uh, my cousin's birthday today, so it uh, a childhood friend. So it's uh, it, it, it's good and high spirits today. So it's a dope one. Sunshine, it's a good one. Oh yeah. How about yourself? How are your spirits today? Good, good. I got the kids at school too, the man running around. Oh, okay. Sure ain't no thing we have for today. I got a little, got some music in the background, but we'll play some tones. But um, I will set up this whiteboard and we'll get to these tones. Um, because you had spoke on something the other day about the uh, chakra healing. And oh, yeah. one of the first things that I started with was um, a meditation for the chakra tones. Um, and I think maybe a couple months after that, I come into uh, Dr. Lee Mel Bay. He's got some things on uh, YouTube and they were doing the 10 healing sounds starting from the crown and the head all the way down through each chakra and even more in detail for like specific body parts. So I think that will work well because I it has definitely worked well for me, especially in meditation, um, humming the sounds out, uh, whether it be mentally or <laughs> as loud as possible. Um, I know many times, you know, we don't always have the space to uh, yell things out loud or you know what I'm saying? Be vocal about things. But uh, doing them in practice, as well as uh, finding the space, whether, like you said, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's in the shower or maybe it's uh, whenever you're cooking or maybe you're in your car. Maybe you got to go to the car or, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you got to go outside or anything like that. But yeah, humming them tones works so much, so well, especially with the uh, images that come up memories and whatnot so yeah it's definitely something good to uh complete so i am going to write out these tones and the sounds that go with them and then we will go over those so starting at let me get my little gun So before we even before I even get into it, do you have any uh, chakra healing that you're interested in? Like any, like anything that comes to mind, or any body parts of pain, or any places that you've had uh, surgeries or broken bones, or you know, uh, if you just had indigestion or, you know, you used to have asthma or you have chronic headaches or migraines or something like that, back pain, anything like that? Um. Well, yeah, I have upper back pain. I had to go to the hospital for a few times. And then I also had to go to the hospital for a, um, 
think they labeled it a minor um, heart attack. Mm, okay. Not uh, like a few months ago. So, but mm, I was right. trying to work um, from the root up. Mm, so okay. My first time starting working on the chakras. All right. Well, we definitely mm-hmm. have one for the root as well. Let's see. Hmm. And also, uh, I'll say, what other things with your uh, root chakra have you gotten into, or any things that you experimented with so far? I I need to meditate my root chakra more. Mm, bad, bad, bad. Ooh, are you um wherever you are? Is there good places for you to be outside in the grass, near trees, nature? Yes, it's um a lot of grass over here again. Oh, okay. Are you an outside person? Have you been before? Yes. Oh, good, 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 good. Well, I would definitely say um, those walks out and about barefoot in the grass, you know what I'm saying? Of course, November, you know what I'm saying? The weather can be what it is. But even, shoot, just a minute, you know what I'm saying? Just a minute outside proves, and you get that feeling all in you, especially um, meditation. Uh, there's many ways of meditation, whether it's sitting still, you know, closing your eyes, visualizing. Um, it can also be just in a state of concentration, whether um, you're not really thinking of anything. You're just walking, you know, just walking out in the grass or your intentions of touching a tree and just stretching on the tree for a little bit, you know, just press up against it or whatnot. Um those things definitely help connect back to the root, especially with yourself as well. Um, certain colors, um, red brings uh, a vibrant scene to the root chakra as well. I got a couple books on there. If you need any of those to get some of that info. Oops. All right. All right, so with, oh, yeah. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, so for the crown chakra, top of the head, um, that would be the eye sound. So I, and then to the uh, medulla, which is the back of the head. Um, out in the world. So right back here at that soft spot. Oh man. So the hand back there, and that sound is why. Um, and then to the third eye, or first eye, whichever click you claim, it will be the sound of e. Then we go down to the throat, which is the sound of e. And especially on these sounds, we're breathing in through our nose, expanding our belly as we breathe. And then we release. So we're singing more from our, uh, more from our stomach, from our lower dentian, our lower area, lower chakras, strengthening those. Um, Instead of more of saying the, like that it's got that nasal sound to it let's see then we go down to the chest area heart chakra area top of the chest that's going to be the uh, sound they're a little bit lower right around the breastbone area let's see we go to the low chest that sound would be uh, 
Then after that, we will move down to this is the uh, for the kidneys, like your upper rib cage, going down in a V and around to the kidneys on the back. And that sound goes to a ka. Uh, if you are familiar, ka, ka spirit. You know what I'm saying? So that inner spirit that we're jumping into, especially as um, releasing those fears of, well, basically fear. <laughs> All the fear, the nervousness and whatnot. Um, me, myself, I um, went through the whole route of kidney stones. And now knowing uh, the fear that we hold inside of ourselves with uh, thought forms and whatnot, this is definitely a big one. Definitely a big one for me um, for that self-healing. So, yeah, keep on that one as well. Let's see. That is the kidneys. Oh, man, this writing is wild. Then for the next, let's see, we got seven here. Next one will be four. Over here on the right side for your liver, right under the rib cage here. And that sound is going to be a shh. Ooh. Now, I will say if you um, have any rumblings in your stomach, um, <laughs> any gas from a top or bottom, it's good. So anytime you're burping, gas, farting, either way, that's getting out. <laughs> that's that's releasing. So any release is a good release, definitely. Uh, let's see. That was our liver. Let's see. That's the sound of Let's see, down below, we have right above our navel, and that is going to be the oh, 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 oh. the old sound there. Let's see, let's just go with the solar. So that will be around your solar plexus. I'm going to go with the oh. And lastly, down for the root. So you can have your hands uh, lower area. You can put them under your butt, sit on your hands, however. And that one is the sound of you. Let me see. That would be the root there. So I'm going to have these sounds here. Now for a uh, for beginning practice, if you just want to do those, whenever you're doing these on your own, you want to do three times for each sound and then move to the next. And then as you graduate even more, you know what I'm saying, after a couple of days, maybe a week or two, you can go up to seven. Uh, and anything in between as well. Um, the three and the seven, of course, magical numbers as well. So you can pick and choose. You can pick and choose. Like you don't have to do every single one of them every single time. You could practice if you do. But like you said, if you are uh, working on the root for a week or two and you just want to do that sound of you. You. Whenever we are uh, exhaling, you want to carry that sound out um, for at least five to seven, five to seven seconds. Um, I will also say the more you do it, the less you'll be counting, and it'll be more of a uh, oh wow, my bad. It'll be more of a uh, feeling, you know. Uh, 
I'll even say with the counting, uh, with the staying on task and whatnot, keeping a good song with you definitely keeps you on point. Um, having those tones like brown noise or pink noise, um, the frequency tones, um, something good for myself is Native American flute works well as well. So um, playing those tones while you're doing those, man, it puts you in a certain state in which you're not concerned about outside things going on. So that is definitely a dope one. Let's get, let's turn this. I'm gonna put on something else and we're gonna dive deep into, we're gonna start with the root and we're going to do um, the U sound. We'll start off with a couple ohms and then we'll dive into that one. Let's turn this up just a little bit. Hmm. All right, Jazz, did you have any uh, questions, comments, or anything you'd like to add? Because I do be talking. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a talker. You don't watch out. I talk the whole way through. My bad. <laughs> so far, so good. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Let's move this down a bit. All right. So, before we begin, we'll start off. Um, many of the uh, occult books that I've been in, especially with meditation, lectures, and whatnot, opening and closing. You know what I'm saying? Um, whether you want to start off with uh, ohms or you want to say your name before you have a quick prayer anything you can do whatever you need to do beforehand before myself i like to start off with three three deep ohms and then we'll go into our meditation with the root and start off here so you want to sit back straight um you can bend your shoulders back just a bit shoulder blades back a bit you can leave your hands in your lap or you can lie them on your knees palms facing up whatnot with your eyes closed you want to cross them as well so you're looking at your third eye and the one thing on our mind is the sound of you if you need a little extra attention for that, you can place your hands over your root chakra as well. So a deep exhale. Want to inhale. Oh. Now we want to place our hands. You can either sit on your hands, place them in your lap or the root portion. Mm -hmm. We'll take a deep breath in through our nose, expanding our belly. And in our mind, we want to be saying you on the inhale. Because we are breathing in that healing energy all the way down to our root chakra. And on our exhale, we are releasing all low vibrational energy that we have attached. 
you'll be able to feel that flow going through. So any images, memories, pictures, feelings, emotions that come up, let it rock. Let it ride, whatever it is. If it's happiness, let it be happy. Even if it's the player hater in your mind, let that motherfucker play a hate. He ain't got no, he ain't got no room here. He can't do nothing but follow along. Mm. All right, let's begin. Deep exhale. Inhale with you in mind. Last one. You. Now allow your breathing to return to adjust by itself. Those sensations you feel, that is your healing power. Hmm. So if you ever have a question on if it's working, the answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is always yes. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Miss Jess. Oh, not Miss Jess. My bad, Jess. How you feel? How you feel? How you feel? I'm feeling good. Good, 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 good. Um, any, what, what did you feel, um, in your body? Can you describe? Ah, it's hard to describe, but overall, it's a good feeling. Good, 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 good. Now, this feeling that you have, is there anything that you do on the daily that um, that has this similar feeling? Or is there anything you can connect with that you do or have done that brings this lightness, this feeling to you? Well, yeah, when I do get to go outside more, like, the weather has been changing mm -hmm. a lot. So I just got to catch that warm weather. And when I do, it was amazing. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Keeping and staying grounded, mm -hmm. like you were saying earlier. Yeah, that grounding is, um, is dope because the feeling that you have, um, the lightness that you feel, the sensations. Now, that's something that not only we can physically do, but mentally we can do in our minds. You know what I'm saying? When when we're, when we're cooking, 
You know what I'm saying? We can have that same feeling. We can bring that same feeling and activate it as well. So, oh yes. Oh yes. And, matter of fact, I want to do another share because I want to share something with you. Let's see. Seven. This was one. Seven, Ellen. It sounds. Because the meditation that I would do is like, when I started, I was like five minutes. Five minutes. Real easy. Ah, yes, this one right here. The chakra healing. Seven vowel sounds guided meditation. Now, this one's a little bit different. <clears throat> um, they have it to where <laughs> uh, Dr. Lee Elbe explained it as uh, these are the these tones are, you know, the seven basic chakras. E, A, I, A, and then O, U, and then the root is her. Um, these are, <laughs> he had explained it as these are for uh, beings who are lacking melanin. I kind of laughed, but then once <laughs> I began to do this one <clears throat> and then go to the 10 healing sounds, I just go with the 10 and I do these as well. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no thing. Um, for these, if you want to practice on, it is four minutes and 52 seconds. So I'm telling you, like, as soon as you wake up or a um, little bit after you wake up in, during your day, uh, middle of the day, end of the day, this is definitely something you can have. Uh, play it on YouTube. You can download it as well so you can have it in your playlist. Mm, I'm telling you, it's, it, it, it'll get you right back to yourself very quickly, very quickly. So this one here. Mm. I had a book that I wanted to share with you that had some information on the uh on your root chakra that you would be working working with. Let's see. So of course with the um root chakra. They have the color of red and certain colors go with different directions within our body as well as out here in nature. Uh, this book is Basic Sigil Magic by Philip Cooper. Um, are you a book person? You you into the books, or are you more of a, a lectures, or how how do yes, you take uh, your how are you taking your information? I do both. I read and I listen to lectures, but um, I really had to like fight to read, fight with like the children. <laughs> they all I, my attention. So oh, the, all oh time. yes. <laughs> Hey, when we were, when we were little and we said, man, I just want my people to treat me like a queen. And now we got it. <laughs> like, oh, man, ain't it yeah. something? Mm -hmm. I'll tell yeah. you, like, especially with the kids at school, I definitely uh, was able to strike out some time for myself. Um, even when they get home, I kind of use it as a time where we can do some things. I can implement some things while they're here. But most of the times I don't even fight it. I just be like, you know what? You want to watch YouTube? Let's watch YouTube. You know, you know what I'm saying? You want to watch oh, yeah. you, you <laughs> watch something? Okay, it is what it is. You know, I'm going to be able to get my stuff done um, yeah. when they sleep. When they sleep. So, yeah, yeah. And I will also say, write it down, like like reclaiming reclaiming your time. Um, 
it is it is definitely a time where you step out there and you say this is what i want this is what i need and it's not uh in a space of give me that or i want this back or anything like that it's i'm doing this because this will also not only uh improve me but everybody i'm around is going to feel that vibe as well so definitely definitely yeah you got the right idea on that one for sure so i wanted to look at because each color has specific meanings uh many meanings to it as well in ways that we can um we can really boost ourselves with our senses, whether it's colors, um, smells, um, things that we're eating. So are you into the fruits and vegetables? Oh, yes. I love fruits and vegetables. So <laughs> yeah, I've been yeah, having yeah. Uh, trying to get the kids to eat healthier as well. And my 10 year old, she's the oldest girl. Well, okay. She's older than all. She's like, oh no, mom, I don't want to be a vegetarian. Uh, <laughs> oh, just try to balance it out with them and do it all. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so especially for the um, fruits, vegetables, anything red, as far as you know, tomatoes, uh, apples. Um, I'm actually eating on some pop, pop. Wow, pomegranate. Something I have, I've never had before. Um, that cherry, strawberries, um, definitely those are boosting, boosting your energy. But like the nature of red power is energy and action. So especially um, these qualities, we already have those within us. And it's activating those. It's not even a question of if we have it or not or if we're powerful, or if we have this, or if we have that. Nah, we all got that. So the blood complaints, uh, disputes, self-defense, dealing with enemies, um, especially when one of those enemies is ourselves, uh, personal energy, strive, drive, and stamina. Um, and it's just a balance of that red. So even on, like say for the rest of the week, you want to wear a red t-shirt or um, any of your garments that you have on, you want to be putting on red. Now you know why, you know what I'm saying? We're not putting on red from a state of fear or we're not putting um, anything like that. So even like I said, the, the November, you just want to stop something. Maybe there's something that you want to um, end doing, whether, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you watch TV way too much and you're like, you know what? I just want to cut back. I want to stop doing that so I can get into my practices. And those are the some of the, those are some of the things that we write down as well uh, with our red. It's not just I want to stop doing this, but whenever I'm not doing this, I can put my attention more into what I really want to be driving on. Hmm. So red power, of course, uh, deals with security, uh, needs, and implies for, implies for control, because everything must be uh, a result. Planning, organizing, um, and most of these things are going to be subconscious. Like you, we're 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 fighting the uh, we're fighting the urge to not do things. There's so many things telling us not to do it. Now, anytime you want to meditate, there's going to be something that comes up to let you know, hey, you don't have to meditate now. We can do it later. But that red, but uh, invoking that red energy inside you, you're going to be on it right then. <clears throat> and you won't have to fight for it. You won't have to fight anyone else for it. And it won't be that push or pull where it's like, oh, man, I can't wait till I got to meditate or Oh, I can't wait till I do this, or I can't wait till they go to sleep so I can do this. It'll be more of a um, more of a balanced spirit of here I am doing this. I'm planning to do this, and spirit is going to move everything in such a way that I can get it done in that time frame. Yes, indeed.
Yes, indeed. Let's see. So, I will say, if you need to, um, let me see if this is on YouTube. Uh, it may be. I've been looking for it before. For myself, I like I, I I do enjoy reading. Uh, some of the times I just have the audio books on as well, or I can find it on YouTube. But um, definitely, I can send you this one. And if you need any other places to get books, this Z Library. Man, nobody care about all that. Come my Z Library. It is a uh, free place. It does have the sign up, but all you got to do is, you know, email, first, last name, first name, last name, whatnot. But that Z library, you can go in and you can put in any book that you need, um, any article that you're looking for. You can definitely find it in there and you can download it. You get like 10 of a day. I don't know what this is doing. Oh, well, we can kick rocks. I ain't worried about that. So, yes, indeed. Any other, uh, anything you'd like to add, Jeff? How you feeling? How you feel? I'm feeling good. Thank you for asking. All right. So, I would like to say, continue on those, as well as with these, um, with the healing sounds of you and for... Mm -hmm. I have one last one before we go. Okay, cool. Dr. Lemel Bay, like him and him and his wife, man, they really be on it. <laughs> when I say they really be on it, they really be on it. They've been on it for like, you know, 20, 30 years and whatnot. Oh, yeah. So I will actually send this, I'll send this to your um Jeez, what are those things called? Message. I'll message this to you and mm -hmm. send you this link. Okay. Now, of course, um, mm -hmm. for myself, I like to listen to stuff at like 1.25, 1.5 speed. That's just me because listening to stuff at regular speed just don't really do it for me these days anymore. But oh, um, yeah. <laughs> so you go at it how you go at it. Um, but also, uh, they go for them, they like to go through the science first and then the meditations be on the end. But okay. I think right around this 120 area, they have the actual sounds. And this is literally where I got where I got the practice from. So, you know what I'm saying? It's... And of course, okay. if you uh, ever listen to anybody else, always make sure they got a book, they got a lecture, they got something they can show you where you can go back and go for it yourself. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. No, yeah, never be listening to nobody that's got you reaching afterwards. Yeah, okay. So you got that one. Oh, yeah. So subscribe to that, man. They got plenty of stuff for um for those, especially um, healing teas and um different uh, crystals and whatnot. So, however you get down, you're gonna get down. But. Mm -hmm. Miss Jazz, I want okay. to thank you for coming back once again. Um, thank you. I, pre I, I appreciate your presence. Um, I appreciate you. Um, still going for, still going for what you want. Like you know, what I'm yes. saying like the job is never done, and if it was, we'd be gone. So we're still here. So we might as well, <laughs> might as well make this thing uh, as smooth and as easy as possible. So Miss Jazz, yeah. I want to thank you once again. And uh, continue on that you for the day. And, and okay. uh, whatever red you see, let that red fly. Let that red All fly. Right. Appreciate you. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Hey. <clears throat>